Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Marketing. In this video, we're gonna talk about creating custom affinity and custom intent audiences for YouTube ads. Now, this video is part of a course that I have, so you might hear me reference other videos that might be coming up or something like that. Uh, you can ignore that part. The content in this video is gonna be good, solid content that I think you'll find helpful, which is why I'm publishing it here on YouTube. Let's get into it. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about custom affinity and custom intent audiences. So let's get into it tools and settings and go to audience manager and then up at the top here we did remarketing in the last video in this video we're doing custom audiences so click that and then click the plus button here and then you see custom affinity and custom intent now both of these audience types are for scaling um, they're kind of they create big broad audiences now i also want to point out that we can also target people with keywords and keywords are great because we can optimize the keywords we can see which keywords are performing which aren't performing you know increase budgets on keywords or decrease budgets on keywords so we can do a lot of different stuff with keywords whereas these these two different audiences you know they're big broad audiences and they're used more for scaling and kind of broadening your reach now custom affinity audiences are for like massive scaling like it's going to create really really big audiences like millions and millions of people uh, custom intent audiences are a little bit more honed in and more specific so we will likely use custom intent audiences in our marketing efforts whereas custom affinity is for like big brands like i don't know target or walmart or something like that big brand with a massive budget and they want massive amount of scale they're probably going with custom affinity. Uh, for us small business owners, we, we'll go with custom intent sometimes, and we'd also go with keywords, which again, I'll show you in another video. But I wanna show you these options because I wanna teach you as much as I can about running YouTube ads. So here we are, custom affinity audience. So what we need to go ahead and do is define your audience by adding relevant interests, URLs, places, or apps. So let's go ahead and, I don't know, we'll just do clickfunnels.com digitalmarketer.com, leadpages.com, activecampaign.com. And then maybe we'll throw in a couple interests while we're here. So we can throw in sales, funnels, paid advertising, digital marketing, and so on. So you just add some interests, some URLs. You could also add places and apps if you want to as well. Come over here, click Get Estimate, and let's see what pops up. So as you can see, our weekly impressions are between 10 billion to 1 trillion. So that's what I'm saying about these custom affinity audiences. They, they're massive, and they're for big businesses looking to reach you know the entire population of the world or something like that. Um, obviously we see our topics so marketing advertising and marketing business and industrial so you know that seems about right we can look at our demographic information and so you know between 18 and like 44 that sounds about right uh, of course there's a lot of unknowns because you know Google doesn't know ages as well as like Facebook knows ages uh, the gender breakdown so obviously ma mostly males which seems accurate so all, all this stuff seems accurate and like we're kind of targeting the right people, but again, it's massive. It's very hard to optimize this large of an audience, right? But anyway, let's go ahead and do custom affinity audience and I'll call it digital marketing and we'll go ahead and create. And now let's go ahead and make a custom intent audience as well. Now we will be using a custom intent audience when we set up our campaign together uh, because intent is a lot more specific than affinity. Like intent shows like they've searched for certain keywords and performed certain actions and like the intent is there. And so it makes a pretty good large audience, but it's more specific than an affinity audience. So anyway, let's go ahead and set it up. So come in here to custom intent and I'll call it CI for custom intent and and digital marketing. All right, now we have two options here, include people based on their in-market keywords and Google search terms. Now, if we're running YouTube ads, there's a big difference here, okay? So pay attention if you're running YouTube ads, which I assume you are because you're taking a YouTube course and it is June 1st, 2020, so they might change this, but at this point in time, there's a big difference in this option here. And the difference is in-market keywords does not work for YouTube ads. It only works for display ads. So if you're doing YouTube ads, which I assume you are, you cannot select in-market keywords. Otherwise, you won't be able to select this audience. You have to use Google search terms for 
uh, YouTube ads. So just want to put that out there, make sure we're crystal clear there. And now basically what you're doing is you're creating a list of keywords that people have typed into Google. And so this should be a pretty good audience of people, right? Because they went to Google and typed in what you're entering right here. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the same keywords that we used when setting up our custom affinity audience. So I'll just do sales funnels. So I got sales funnels, paid advertising, digital marketing, lead pages, digital marketer, click funnels and active campaign. So those are my keywords that I'm going to roll with now. They do recommend that you add at least 50 keywords to get the ball rolling. And you could go ahead and use the keyword planner to get more ideas and all that type of stuff. And you know, in real life, it'd probably be a good idea to go ahead and get those 50 keywords to make sure your audience is large enough and good enough. But for the sake of our example here, I'm just gonna run with the same keywords and I'll go ahead and hit create. And so there we go, we now have our custom intent audience that we can go ahead and target. 